Hey, this is Tim Brown, Hall of Famer. You're listening to Seven and Black today. Welcome back. We are here with our good friend and just a, a national treasure, in my view, and that is Raiders great Phil Villapiana, who joins us uh, from the East Coast. And, Phil, uh, we, we talked a lot in the first segment about Raiders football and about your history and, of course, the, the late, great Al Davis. Now we're going to shift a little bit. We're going to talk about next week's game, the Chiefs and the 49ers. This is the biggest conundrum for, for Raiders fans, Phil, because it's the Chiefs, and we go back to your yep. prayer that you taught us, uh, our Father who art in heaven, I hate the Kansas City <laughs> Chiefs, right? But then you, <laughs> but then, but then you yep. also have the 49ers, the, the Cross Bay rivals, if you will. So when you look at this game, what is, it, what is a Raider fan to do, Phil? Well, uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this. I say take the over. <laughs> don't bet either one of them because we do hate them both. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm having a real problem. But I think, and my daughter, Andrea, asked me this. She said, Dad, who are you going to root for? You hate everybody. I said, <laughs> well, I really hate these guys except. When I got into the league, and, and, and guys, we talked about this a little bit earlier. You know, we hated the NFC or the NFL. We were, we were AFC guys. Right. And, uh, you know, we were taught when I went to the Pro Bowl game to kick their ass because that's what you're supposed to do. The AFC is a, you know, we are showing you Mr. Old Establishment. We're going to kill you. So I got a lot of that in my body. So even though, you know, the Chiefs, I hate them big time. Yep. I hate red because of the Chiefs. I hate, <laughs> I, hate the, I hate horses because of the Chiefs. I hate a lot of things because of the Chiefs. But I may have to just lean a little bit towards the AFC and, and the AFC West. That was another thing. You know, we were taught. We're the AFC West. We're the best conference in football. Mm -hmm. And the Chiefs are representing us. And that's really a good thing. So let's – I got to go a little bit for the Chiefs. And I really, really enjoy, you know, Andy Reid. I got to meet Andy when um, – uh, what was our fullback's name who ended up going to the Eagles? Nice nice guy. I really, I really enjoyed him. And, and he got – he was with the Super Bowl team uh, one of the Plunkett years. And I got to bring him the Super Bowl ring back when um, when Andy Reid was coaching, you know, for the Eagles. And uh, what a nice guy. He brought me on the field. You would think Al Davis or John Madden went on the field. <laughs> Everybody around the league loves and it just loves being around Raiders. And he brought me out there and he introduced me. And it, it, it was just wonderful. So I like Andy Reid. I love his offense, it's it's so fast. It just, oh, it's it, incredible. It, you know, all that, the last week, I mean, you know, it was unbelievable all those plays he did to Tennessee. Tennessee had no clue where the ball was. So I'm giving Andy Reid. I like Andy Reid. I hate, you know, Shanahan because I hate his father because they were Broncos. <laughs> so I think I hate Shanahan. I love Reid. So I'll go, I'll go with that. Yes, and, it, uh, you're being a little contradictive. See, I'm the same way. It's like I want to root for the AFC West because of the Raider, you know, of everything that it represents. But then I hate the AFC West other teams. So you get conflicted <laughs> there. Which way do you go? Now I didn't grow up in the Bay Area, so I don't have any ill will towards the 49ers. You know, I I, I probably I hate the Seahawks more because they're the old AFC West rivalry there. But I can see both sides of the the, the argument there. Well, Chad, I want you to know I went my rookie year. George Blanda and Pete Banasak called me over to this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go on the field. And they said, Ginzo. And I said, yeah. <laughs> he goes, this tight end, this tight end, you got to you got, you got, you got to handle him. If you let him off the line of scrimmage, they're going to beat us. I want to see you just, you know, and it was Ted Kowalik. They oh, wanted yeah. me to nail Ted Kowalik. First play of the game, bam, I hit him a shot so hard right up to the jaw. And I looked to the sideline. There we go. Go, Ginzo. Go, Ginzo. <laughs> the probably four or five plays later, they have a sweep around the other end. Kowalik is trailing the play. And I'm over. I'm running behind the ball carry. And he nails me right into the 49er bench. <laughs> I stand up. So I got five plays in. 
they put, they dragged me off the field because you know I wouldn't stop. I went after them, and it was nuts. That was my first Forty Nine er game. Nice. The <laughs> next year, I couldn't wait. Bland and and and, and, and Banizak, oh, you're gonna take that <laughs> Ginzo? You're gonna take that <laughs> from last year? No, I'm not. We lasted about two plays, me and Quali. They threw us both out. Yeah. The next year, that was in, <laughs> the next year. We're back in we're back in Oakland. We got thrown out again. We actually got about halfway through the first quarter. <laughs> the next year, we go back to San Francisco because we played them the last preseason game. So you know the starters are playing. So they do a reverse to this. Uh, what was his name? Their wide receiver, Gene Washington. They do a reserve, reverse to Washington. I'm, I'm sucked in. Sucked in. I turn around because here comes the ball guy. Cole Wallach hits me a shot uh, right in the eye. I'm oh. bleeding like crazy. It's four years in a row. The Incredible. We, we, go to the front, we go to the line of scrimmage. I'm bleeding. Blood's coming out. The referee stops the game. It's, it, it says, you got to go. You can't be on the field with all this blood. <laughs> and I say, uh-uh, one more play. One more play. Yeah. So anyway, Kowalik was sitting there. He's laughing. All day, and they drug me off the field. Four years in a row, I don't finish oh. a game against the 49ers. Yeah. So there's your I hatred. Hate them too. You got yeah. more hatred for the 49ers then. Well, that that's that's oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah. And again, we're, we're speaking to Raiders great Phil Villapiano uh, now about the Super Bowl. It's been a, a great, great talk with you. Now, Phil, back to the, the Chiefs, you mentioned them. Um, and you played against some of the ultimate, ultimate quarterbacks in the history of the league and the history of the NFL you beat one you stripped one for a fumble in the Super Bowl of course Fran Tarkington in Super Bowl 11 um, can you imagine playing linebacker today and having to watch and play against Patrick Mahomes oh man whoa he was well you know Tarkington was the scrambler scrambler yes but you know we, we you know we were ready for, we were ready for him and Unlike the Tennessee Titans, <laughs> the, I don't know what, what, you know, Dean Pease is their defensive coordinator who had that great game the week before against Jackson over there in, in Baltimore. Why, why his defensive ends just kept getting caught inside was ridiculous. But Patrick Mahomes, you, Mr. 49er coach, what's his, the, the, the defensive coach for the 49ers is one of the best ever. Wrong. He'll be ready. He'll be ready for Mahomes. And, you know, and Stagnola, whatever name, is going to be ready. He'll be Defense, ready yeah. for, the 40, for, the, for the 49ers. These coaches are good. And, and, they, and they got two weeks to game plan. And I remember, and, you know, guys, I think, you know, you're old enough to remember, we, the, the, the Minnesota Vikings came out. They took their wide receivers out of the game and brought in two more deep, two more offensive tackles. Hell, we saw that for two weeks. We were ready for that. Bam! You know, we should we, they, they nobody could fake anybody out when you got two weeks to plan. Right. And let alone two weeks, they probably been getting ready for the 49ers and the 49ers are getting ready for the Chiefs for a month. So th- these coaches will be ready. It's going to be a shootout like we've never seen before. I can't wait. I say. Take the over. No matter if it's nine no matter if it's ninety points, take the over. <laughs> I like it. Betting advice from Phil too. That's great news. Yes. Um again uh Well Phil- you know in New Jersey that's our that's right. our, our pastime in New Jersey is betting. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, Phil Villapiano, I want to uh, thank you again, as always, for being so generous with your time. I know our fans, our listeners, they love hearing from you. The times we get to talk to you, it's always one of our most popular shows. And so I appreciate you taking the time. You always spend time with Raider Nation, with the fans. And I know that won't change once they're here in Las Vegas. Well, a, a Scott and Chad, if I get my 50 tickets, yeah. well, <laughs> part, of, part of my weekend is going to be... My Dave, my guy Dave is going to take us 50 jerseys, guys, and we're going to have a beer at that bar, and you guys are invited. Oh, man, uh, I appreciate Jersey that. Boys. We'll be right and there with I you, Phil. That be Friday before, you know, I will come in maybe Thursday. So get ready. We're going to have some beers together, yeah. and it's going to be wonderful. Bring yeah. your golf clubs, man. Yep. Yeah. Got to get so some golf. Yeah. I'll bring it up. 
I'll bring everything. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Hey, and don't think I don't love Oakland. I mean, a lot of, of people course. are getting oh, mad at me. No. But I love Oakland. I love Oakland. But, you know, it's like, you know, you had the home phone, you know, and then you got the cell phone. That's you right. got to <laughs> move on in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? We moved on. We're in Vegas. We belong in Vegas. And I, I can't wait to see the logo. Did they come out with a new logo? Not yet. At There's the party the other day. Not yet. The, the, the merchandise and that stuff's supposed to come out as we get closer to the draft, since the draft will be here in Las Vegas. We got to get you out for the draft too. I think, I think that would be a, an opportunity for you to get out on the links and uh, spend some time as well. Well, I will be there. My girlfriend Janie lives over in um, Palm Desert, so we drive through the desert whenever we feel like it. I was at the Raiders through a giant party last year at that, I forgot the name of that uh, big uh, big disco. I don't, they don't call it disco. So whatever it was. <laughs> uh, Jay's upstairs. So anyway, but they had, the, they had the DJ. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. A couple thousand people were at the party. So hopefully the Raiders invite me back. If not, I'm coming anyway. Yeah, so that's I'll right. You'll you crash. You, you'll cra- yeah, you're, crash. Phil, you're always the life of the party. It can't be a party without that's you. Right. So you got to be there. There's no <laughs> question. Uh, but Phil, hey, Scott, you yes, you, you, I need for you to come to Jersey, man. You know, I'll come. Come, oh. come, do your, come do your show from Val's Tavern here in Jersey. Absolutely. We'll do that. That would you be fantastic. That would be awesome. Absolutely. Well, Phil Villapiano, again, as always, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Okay, guys. Hey, man, just win, baby. Just <laughs> win, baby. Yeah. See right. you later. Take care now. Bye, All guys. Right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Uh, Phil Villapiano, uh, Raiders great. Chaz, just amazing. <laughs> you, just, you can't help smiling when you're you, talking to you him can't.